Yeah, we cab. Just died. It's great. My new read that I'm absolutely obsessed with is it's called Norwegian Book by <laughs> Norwegian Wood by Murakami. Uh, funny story about how I discovered this. I went to play crazy golf, and the girl on the counter was reading a Murakami novel, and I said to her, "What is what's that book?" Because again. I knew it was a Japanese name, I just, I just come back from Japan and uh, she just said, you have to read it, start with Norwegian Wood, it will be a bit weird and strange, but it's, he's a great author and I agree, I haven't put this down, I got this a couple days ago and I just haven't stopped reading it. I made a pledge to myself to read for 30 to 40 minutes every single day and uh, yeah, it's been going well. Thoroughly enjoying this. It's the first time I found a book that I can't put down. And he, the way he writes is so vivid, like I can imagine everything. And obviously, because I've been to Japan, so some of the places he mentions, I, I resonate with as well. Hello, friends. Uh, I am uh, enjoying the sunshine. I, depending on when I edit this and post this, you would either have seen my trip to Spain or, by the way, I, I just came back from Spain, hence why I, you probably can't tell I'm very tanned. Um, or I've posted this before the trip to Spain, <laughs> uh, depending on which I edit and how quick I get it done. It's just, I think I'm going through an existential crisis. <laughs> I've just been just wondering about just wondering about what I part of me if like okay I think I should just simplify it I really would love to try and live somewhere else that's not London like in a different country I've been thinking about this a lot but I think part of the fear that holds me back is the fear of the unknown I would have to make new friends which is already hard for me I would have to find a new routine, you know, and a new environment. And I really envy people that just pack up and leave. I don't have a fallback. I don't have family here that I can leave my stuff with or I don't know. It is something that's been on my mind a lot. And same with social media. I've been wondering a lot what I want to do going forward if I want to carry this on um, if I want to do something else I think my passion has been diminished a little bit 
um, just because of circumstances that have happened. And um, yeah, I don't know. I've been questioning a lot. And I don't know, if you're watching this and you've moved to a different country, started a new life, how did you do it? How did you find it? Give me some tips, give me some ad advice. I've just been questioning a lot. Um, you know, being single now and not being attached to anything, I have that freedom. And just like you, I probably watch other influencers and have a tiny bit of envy because they seem like they have a great life, have everything figured out, and I'm still trying to figure things out. Um, I feel like I have talked about this every couple of months, but it's been louder and louder and louder. Um, I don't even know what the point of this is. I'm just rambling, as I always do to all of you. And maybe some of you might give me some great advice. Uh, and then the question is, where do I want to move to? Where will I want to go? Somewhere with a lot of sun, like this, with some culture, somewhere where I can walk around with great people and make friends all around the world. That would be great. Because at the moment, I'm struggling with the balance of enjoying social media. Um, I'm taking myself out of it more and more. And the pressure, there's so much pressure that most of you don't see. Pressure from external forces and myself and always comparing myself to others and feeling like I'm not doing great, I'm not doing well, I should be doing better. This was in my head and it's been in my head for a while. Just share it, why not? Anyway. <laughs> As always, thank you for listening to my rambling. Right, enough of that. <laughs>
after my surgery in October and January, yes, it's been that long, I have not been able to lift as much as I wanted to. And I've definitely realized how much mentally fitness has played a huge part in my life in such a positive way that now I focus as much as possible to doing as much as I can when it comes to workouts, exercising, being active. Don't take being able to go to the gym for granted because trust me, when it gets taken away from you, it makes a big impact every single time you get to train enjoy the process Today, can you tell us the fit of today, sir? 